Georgia Flavor that comes. Hello and good evening once again, Dr. Babaji Jalalade here at Ask the Gynecologist and we are simultaneously live on Instagram, YouTube recording and Facebook Ask the Gynecologist here. So uh, if you're free, uh, let us catch up tonight and have a quick chat together and have fun. My name once again is your lovely host, Dr. J. Alalade at Ask the Gynecologist Live. And a good evening to you. It's a Thursday and it's a wonderful time to be alive. First of all, I'm grateful to God to be here. And I'm sure definitely too that you are grateful. And I want to say a special thank you to you for spending your time, which is irre irreplaceable. And most importantly to your data to listen to me tonight. God bless you. Yes, I can see people joining up already on Instagram. Ido Masura, the MC Rejoice Ibrahim, and uh, Messi is a boss, uh, and other people that are joined. Oba Freye, Yetola, Suizi, Kelvo uh, Drills, Oba Freye. Thank you, girls. God bless you. And also on Facebook here, Yvonne Chisomori, KK, Messi Sioko, Omagwe, Mifumilola. We have everybody here live, and Odo uh, Chiesenwa. Uh, or more with me from Lola and uh, people are already joining. So if I've missed your name, please don't get angry. It's just because I'm trying to gather myself. You know, the, today's topic is going to be hot and sizzling hot. So I'm trying to gather my thoughts so I can ensure that I dish out the thin slicing onion style. So get settled in and let's start talking without wasting much time. And if you miss any part of the video, you're welcome to watch the video over again at your own free time. And uh, uh, if you don't know what ATG is, let me introduce ATG to you. ATG is called Ask the Gynecologist. And is by the grace of God, through you, the number one social media site on Facebook today where we talk about female gynecological problems. And with the way we dissect them, we bring them loud and clear uh, to you. So if this is your first time, uh, joining our program welcome i'm hoping my audio is good unfortunately i think i forgot to do sound check before i started talking so if my audio is not good let me know i'm checking the audio now so if my audio is not good let me know uh i'm checking my audio so please guys uh, let me know if my audio is good i'm hoping everybody can hear me uh, if you can't hear me let me know probably it's your network but i'm trying my best so uh, i've got lily i have a two-way one of our moderators i've got a lot of google Pretty sunshine, a sem a more patience great queen okishuku, a day girl from Layo, Rachel King, Marking De Fu Free Folu, uh goodness Solomon, Linian Ebi Baby, Ammonia, Ammonia. I just love the hearing that name Ammonia all the time. That name does <clears throat> it sounds God bless you, Anolika Esther. And uh, Anolika is already inviting her friend, blessing Amikebo. <laughs> Nothing sounds like sex, isn't it? People are already inviting their friends. Come on, this is time. We are all adults here. So, Idowu Monsuras is saying that she can hear me. Alaki Jabimbola says she can hear me as well. The audio is good. Thank you, girls, on Instagram for giving me that reverberation that you can hear me. I hear you too. Bas goes bas style. Let us go. Yeah. So, before we start, mm, Pegenta advice you here. If you are here and um, you believe sex is sin or sex is evil, you can go. Eh? Before I start to do, if you believe that sex is sin, eh? you can go. Okay? Or you can keep quiet or keep mute. If you are under 18, you can go. Or keep quiet or keep mute. If you are still a virgin, you can go. Or keep quiet and keep mute. Okay? So this place now is for adult people, for bars, bars, bars people. People that are already, eh? they've been given license to bars, bars, bars. Eh? Or people that are going to receive license soon. Okay? It is for adults, it's not for kids. Okay, but you are welcome to learn. Okay, but don't go particularize the thing I'm saying here. Before time goes, let's fire on. We got day, okay? Fire. Before I talk tonight, okay, I want to remind you all, okay, that um, ATG's position in the world today is a big one and a lovely one because you guys have put us in that position. We can never be where we are without you. So I want to appreciate you today for the things you've done. 
and for you guys that are keep on keep keeping on keeping on keeping on watching us inviting your friends to come and watch here and showing us that that love which is the most powerful thing that keeps us going every time thank you so much honestly i love you all and i say that with all my heart trust me now let me tell you something eh? i will not be here if not for sex somebody at some point was doing that thing somewhere somewhere and they gave birth to me you've not been watching me if not for sex okay so somebody somewhere did something that became you who you are today sex is not a sin okay like anything in the world everything in the world has two sides good and bad is how you use them okay if you use sex frivolously it can become evil if you use sex in a undisciplined way it can become evil so anything can be evil okay anything can be good money can be evil the same way too money can be used for war money can be used for peace too everything needs money whether good or bad okay everything is money the same thing too sex is just a tool is how you use it that matters okay so that's the first thing you must understand so now let's talk about how sex can affect pregnancy you're aware that some people they are pregnant we tell them that ah madame your placenta is low don't have sex because it can make you bleed the reason is that we are telling them that madam you have what we call placenta previa that is to say the placenta of the baby is in the lower portion of the womb and it can encroach and block the exit of the baby out we call that low placenta or placenta previa that's that kind of situation it makes women prone to bleeding in pregnancy and usually people will bleed from such things from around 16 weeks upwards so we tell them avoid sex if we've confirmed that they have placenta previa that is one way sex can affect pregnancy some people too eh they are very close to their due date around 39 weeks or so okay they start having sex the man is pouring his uh, pap his ogi his akam inside okay the man is pouring his condensed milk inside the pap of the man contains what we call prostaglandins and that thing too can also induce and make women to go into labor okay usually close to their due date so if you want to get it strict today and you are around your due date 39 weeks or so and you want to go into labor quickly hey my sister you can go and do baby dance in your bedroom with your husband do bedmatics it can make things happen fast fast that is why if your wife is close to due date you might see whether my sister start giving the, the, the wife distance so because some people eh, <laughs> their glass boost glass can make the baby come out of the throat of the mouth so take it easy okay sex too in pregnancy is different you can't be doing sex the way you're doing sex <laughs> before pregnancy some men eh, there are these things that plate the thing can shift the womb and baby is already gently resting in the womb and you are doing bad goes bad you can shift the whole house and break the whole table leg so in pregnancy men do it slowly and gently don't be too vigorous okay pregnancy itself does not affect or cause any damage to baby pregnancy will not make uh, sex during pregnancy i mean will not affect or cause your baby to be randy sex uh, you know uh, you know uh, uh, disciplined sex does not cause that i've seen people say so many funny things i won't say funny i say so many many <laughs> mind-boggling things that ha, if you have sex during pregnancy your baby can become this and this and this sex does not do that in pregnancy the when i hear those things too i just like that ah, is this for real some things you hear you wonder where these things are coming from sex does not do that okay all right one thing that sex can do can can, can do in pregnancy can make tummy upset you know i told you before hmm? sex is like when you're volcanizing a tire yeah, the man is going in and out in and out as he's going in he's pumping air in as he's coming out he's forming a seal and not letting let the hair come out he goes in again he's going to pump more air in it comes out small you come out you know, it's men that do half in half out you know, if you've been attending my sex seminars last year i told men about one trick called half in half out is a semi systematic methodology okay some men that do half in half out eh? they can easily pump air inside the vagina and because they are going in halfway enter in again they'll be pumping the air in because they don't come out completely they push more air in basically they are volcanizing the tire and they are using their penis as a valve effect to prevent the air from coming out so that kind of thing eh? it can make the woman have upset tummy okay so if 
and that thing is very common during the doggy style okay where the woman feels as if their tummy is being bloated that is why if you're doing sex in pregnancy try and avoid the doggy style if possible especially if the woman is getting towards the end of pregnancy if it's necessary do sex with the woman the woman lying on her side if you are on, or you are, you are not endowed on the big side as a man and then uh, taking your woman on the side you know she's like she's lying on the side you're lying behind that if that's going to be a little bit hectic for you, you you can do the missionary position and you know and maybe she, you put your bum at the tip of the bed and uh, <laughs> you put her bum at the tip of the bed and uh, make it easier somebody said that our, our husband just left the room i'm sorry that i have caused that kind of chaos in your home sorry god bless you anyway listen all these things are not evil they are fact of life <laughs> okay let us keep talking all right see i've, from, I've said that uh, this thing i want i want to stop talking about it because i want to keep my virginity i'm still a virgin i tell people people don't believe me that i'm still a virgin i'm st i'm still a virgin i'm still keeping my virginity and i don't want to lose it so everything i'm saying here i don't mean it's not me it's not me talking it's some it's god i don't know it's somebody else talking okay i'm still a virgin okay don't forget that fact and let's continue so you know, i said again that you know pushing her in can make the tummy uncomfortable in late pregnancy because of the valve effect that kind of what i call vulcanizer effect so you can try and do on your side or the woman can lie on her side for the purposes of sex and she can put her bum very close to the edge of the bed, okay? And then it's better and much easier for the man and for the woman too. There are other styles too that I've uh, discovered. Remember, if you attended our session uh, over the last uh, last year, when we are doing every Friday session to, to talk about sex, we I talked about what I call the reverse missionary style. And the reverse missionary style can be used by men, most especially, and also by women as well man and woman they can do the reverse missionary style and it's one style that helps to maximize and uh, gives men the opportunity to, opportunity opportunity to show that uh, they touch all the angles of the vagina like a clockwork as a man always have a game plan before you attack your wife or in the bedroom okay have a game plan always remember the vagina is a circle it's like a vagina is like a borehole a circle and that circle is like a clock okay so you must always have in your mind that you want to hit every corner piece of that clock ham 12 1 2 3 6 7 8 9 10 so that you want to hit every corner of the vagina and clear every cobweb out okay so have it in your mind have a design in your mind but having a design in your mind as you're attacking that your wife's vagina it helps her to maximize that pleasure okay it's also good okay if you do sex in pregnancy it helps to keep women emotion under control women are very very you know naturally emotional during pregnancy all the hormones are gyrating they're scattering you know they're causing all the bo bo -ishi -ishi. okay so during pregnancy sex is quite important it helps the woman to maintain balance it's important to even if you can't do sex in pregnancy you must learn to romance with your wife Hold her, kiss her, you know, press the old, the old, the old thing in the front. Those two pointers that God has blessed you with. Those two head lamps, caress them, and check that the pointer is working. Okay, it's important. It's important. The woman will feel comfortable. You know that this person that she's carrying this baby for values me, loves her, cares for her, wants her by her side. You love her in pregnancy. You even love her outside pregnancy. Even in pregnancy, you care for her. As a man, if your wife is pregnant, try once in a while, make a meal. It's good. It is the best. It changes her lives. It makes her happy. Yes, sometimes you are tired from work, but she's hungry. She can't move, especially when she, she's in a third trimester. Go to the kitchen as a man. Do the eba. Do the rice. Help her to wash some plates. It gives her that confidence and that boost, and it helps her hormone to be settled. It's important though, guys. I don't mind anybody that tells that uh, as a guy don't go to the kitchen leave them with their problem on their own they go and help their wife oh. so your home keep it okay L doesn't matter you do your part and say hey, the woman will be feeling as if she's the boss <laughs> it's okay you just do your part and leave the rest for god 
be a good person as a guy make your wife feel happy that she's carrying this baby for you one or two or twins or whatever she's carrying boy or girl that you love her you see men are not designed to carry baby women are designed to carry baby if they want to and whenever they want to according to god's will according to nature's will or according to whatever you believe in will okay and when the woman decides to carry a pregnancy for you okay that woman has made a solid decision she's compared all the men around even if she has lack of some lack of judgment that woman has chosen to carry baby for you that your big head for me with this my big head and that woman decided okay that at that point in time she wants to carry baby for you you can't as a man you can't bring for the baby yourself now but for a woman to do that for you pregnancy is stressful delivery is pain no? it's called pain for a reason it's called labor for a purpose it's labor really if you've seen a woman labor before you'll be one you wondering why do women even get pregnant again this thing is too painful if men go through it i don't think they'll probably be happy Pre labor is like your bones being crushed 20 to 40 billion times it can be painful cracking of bones that is labor it's so painful so if a woman decides to carry baby, baby for you Please respect that woman, at least for that time, for that point in time. Even if the woman offends you during that pregnancy, just let give her a pass. Give her a pass. If you see a man get angry, getting angry with the pregnant woman, that man, that man is insane. Let women be in their pregnancy period. It's because at that point in time, you see, they are not fully balanced. Everything is they are woman now. So if a woman, your wife gets you angry during pregnancy, just forgive her give her a free ticket a blank check of forgiveness because she's doing the work of god in man women are doing the work of god in man please men please let us take caution and i'm speaking i'm saying this too i'm saying this to myself too okay i am saying this to myself too men need to change our attitude to women i'm not i know, I know some women are bad i'm not saying that okay but despite the fact men should be gentlemen and show women love Women deserve only one thing, just love. Some women are stubborn, some women are wicked. Different, different things. It's true, I know. But during pregnancy, one thing you hold your woman is just be the best man that you can be. Now, let me tell you something. How sex can also affect you before you get pregnant. Now, this is the most interesting part. I'm going to take some specific, specific section from my previous talk that I used to talk before. Okay. I used to tell you all the time, people, my, my people of the church of ATG, my people of the mosque of ATG, my people of the shrine of ATG, I tell people all the time, don't wait for ovulation before you have sex. The reason is true. The reason is this. I've seen people time and time, they get pregnant just by having sex precisely on the three to four of their menstrual cycle and they got pregnant. Meanwhile, if you're expecting to ovulate on your day 14, you might have missed it. Sometimes angels walk around times that are not our own time. If you want to get pregnant, you must do one thing. Have regular intercourse every other day. Sex, hmm? I, I, I don't care what religion has told you. Me, I, 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 I don't care what they've told you in religion. Sex is not only for procreation. Is also for recreation. Let me tell you, mad people they have sex, sane people they have sex. Yes, animals have sex, so it's true. Sex is for procreation, but also sex is also a physical expression of love too. As work is a physical expression of love to your loved ones, sex is a physical expression of love between, in most cases, I stand to be corrected man and woman okay sex is a physical expression of love between two people in most cases man and woman there's nothing you wrong you having sex outside the purposes of getting pregnant you can have sex anytime you want as far as two of you are married whatever goes on in your room whether you want to chop the cookie down below or you want to suck the banana up below is nobody's business it does not concern anybody. Whether as a man you love you love to give your wife colonel or whatever they call it, whatever they call it. 
that as a woman you love to swallow the condensed milk is nobody's business whatever two of you will be doing in your room in your bedroom is your own syllabus and your own manual sex has no manual don't let anybody kid you don't let anybody lie to you sex has no manual as far as it's between two of you god is there in your midst as far as between two of you god is there when two people are doing something eh, there's already a formation of a third part and that third part is god okay sex makes you to procreate to bring forth a new creation that is god coming into being your child is god too you are god somebody has sex to burn you so sex is not only for procreation it's also for enjoyment have you ever seen some women after they've had perfect sex that sunday night that monday night they are going to work they're in that star bus they are singing and they are laughing in there and they are closing their eyes. They are replaying the action. They are replaying the mesmerasi. They are replaying the barmurasi. They are replaying the bad dadash that the man did to them. Man, please, let me tell you something. Eh? There's no expert here, I know. I tell you, I told you before, I'm still a virgin. I'm still learning this thing. I'm still on that my own journey too. Everybody's got their journey. But always have a plan before going to the bedroom with your wife. A lot of men have problems with premature ejaculation. It's happened to me before too. Okay, in fact, I thought maybe there was something wrong with me. Most cases, premature ejaculation is from stress, and most cases it's also because of you can't control your muscles in your pelvic floor. I released a post last week, and I was saying over and over again what men can do to prevent premature ejaculation. A lot of people say, say that they don't understand what I'm saying. I hammered it clean, clear. I hammered it clear, cut that every man, every woman must do Kegel exercises. Kegel, 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 whatever you call it. Kegel exercises, K E G E L. Every time, every day, at least 10 times in the morning, 10 times in the afternoon, 10 times in the evening. It helps you to firm. To tone your pelvic floor muscle. If you want to know what your pelvic floor muscle is, it's inside your body. It keeps your bowel, your bladder, everything in place. But the easiest way to feed your pelvic floor muscle as a woman, I told you that day, I said, put your finger between your anus and vagina. That skin band between your anus and vagina. That that skin, touch it. Once you touch that skin, squeeze the muscle below beneath that skin. If you can feel it tensed, that is your pelvic floor muscle being toned. That means you are doing your kegel exercises. So you hold your breath, you squeeze the floor muscle, your muscle below your bladder, your muscle below your womb. All this muscle, they fuse into one between, in under that skin, between your blood, your, your vagina mm, and your anus. That area is called the perineal body for doctors, don't worry. But for you, as a layman listening to me, by the grace of God, that is where your pelvic floor muscle, where it fuses, okay, to form a tight band. And that keeps your bladder and your vagina in place. You get it? It keeps it in place. As a man, if you're doing regular kegel exercises, mm -hmm, it will help you, okay, to control yourself when you're about to premature ejaculate. Because you're already doing it, you're always battle ready. As a man, kick exercises will keep you battle ready. Trust me, this is not class for uh, church people. This is not class for people that are, 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 are fanatic about some other religion. This is a class for adults, pure, bad boys, bad style. I don't care. Kick exercises as a man keeps you battle ready. Battle ready. Somebody said I should, I should demonstrate kick exercises. Demonstrate the call. <laughs> he just treating him. Imagine this thing in your mind, eh? As a man, where's your pelvic floor muscle? Put your finger between your anus and just be below your scrotum. That skin there, squeeze your muscle there and feel it tighten. That's under that skin, you feel it tighten. You feel your scrotum shrinking like this. When you when you've tightened the muscle, that is where your pelvic floor muscle is. It makes it easier to move in and out and attack the place. It makes it easier for you to control yourself at that point when you want to climax. You can control yourself and start again another round. 
by the time you do kick exercises as a man for two to three weeks, as a guy, you notice a tremendous change in the next time you go and attack your woman. It is just proven. But people think it's so hard. Let me tell you how to do it. <laughs> battle ready, you know? Yes, we got there, my sisters. Battle ready. The man must. So if you're a woman, set alarm and remind your husband to do this all the time. You take a deep breath in and squeeze that muscle where I told you and hold it tight. Initially, you can't do it for more than three or four seconds. After what you can do for up to 10 seconds. Do it about 10 times in the morning. Stop. Same thing in the afternoon. 10 times. Stop. In the night, 10 times. Stop. If you can't do it all the time, set your alarm to remind you and do it short, short, short interval. Tighten, squeeze, tighten, squeeze, tighten, squeeze, tighten, squeeze. Do it all the time. Like you have, you, when you're washing plates, you wash, you're brushing, you're having a shower, you're in the theater. If you're, you're, if you're, you're at work, you're sitting down, you can do it anyhow. Even you can do it anytime. It helps you to firm your pelvic floor muscle. And as a man, you become a better player for your wife. And you'll be scoring goals like Messi, like Ciro Ronaldo. Trust me. As a woman too, it also helps too. You see, after delivery, the pelvic floor muscle will be weak. It's gone through trauma. You need to take it back to school again. By toning your pelvic floor muscle, all those down below will become firm again. And your husband will see you again and want to attack you again attack you again, attack the thing again, and boil the chicken. You turn your pelvic floor muscle, that weakness that women have with their bladder after delivery will be gone. Most women after delivery, they have weakness in their bladder. By turning your pelvic floor muscle, it helps to reaffirm and reaffirm the, con the control of your pelvic floor, of your bladder. It's called Kegel exercises, yes. It's amazing and it's wonderful the things it can do for you. Kegel exercises will make all your muscles in vagina, all your vagina inside wall become tighter so that when the man is going in again, you can grab and tighten your distance on his, on his uh, condo. Yes, on his condo. If your man is inside once in a while, tell him to stay there. Squeeze the penis and feel. Let your vagina wall feel every circumference, every bit of diameter of his penis. It helps to reverberate and make your body produce morphine. It gives you confidence, boost, control, and happiness. Now, before people think that I mean I, I have lost virginity, let me stop this talk talk here because I don't want to uh, go to both. I don't want to keep lose my my like this thing. I don't want to lose it. I, I, I you see, I don't want to lose it. Okay. So once in a while, once your husband is is inside you, just squeeze and grab the penis with that your muscle. In your vagina, squeeze it, hold it tight. Let the man say, yeah, <laughs> or what's, what's happening here? Get him to relax and, and then let him go, relax him again, let his cucumber come out. Go in again, you grab him. My God, my sister, you enjoy it though. So, now, I'm going to quickly open the floor for a few questions, then I'll close the discussion for the day. If you're on Instagram, you're watching us, thank you guys for watching today. I really appreciate you. It's always a wonderful time when uh, you all come up to Instagram to watch us live here. And on Facebook, on YouTube as well, thank you guys. I really appreciate you. you know, our YouTube channel is getting boosted every day. People are coming to watch our discussion. If you've missed any of this discussion, you can watch it on YouTube. And the good thing about YouTube is that all our videos are arranged by date chronologically. So you don't miss anything. You know, on Facebook here... Hmm? On Facebook here, the videos can be arranged in any format. You know, what I'm seeing on my own timeline is quite different from what you're seeing on your own timeline. You know what I mean? So the same thing too, it happens to everybody. But on YouTube, all our videos are arranged sequentially, pop properly. And the same thing too on Instagram too. So if you're on Instagram, welcome my, my, my people. I love you so much. And invite your friends to watch us on Instagram consistently. And in fact, set your alarm, your, your bell, your notification bell to always follow us on Instagram whenever we are going, like, going live. And the same thing too on here on YouTube. If you're not yet subscribed to our channel, once again, this is Al Alala Day, Babaji Day, Ask the Gynecologist. Always click that notification bell so that whenever I'm live, you're going to catch up and you don't miss any session of our discussion. So I'll be going off to light, uh, to, uh, tonight. I'll be back again tomorrow by the grace of God and we'll have a chat as well. Tomorrow is going to be fun. Tomorrow is the weekend. And trust me, by the grace of God, all things being equal, it's going to be amazing. And uh, it's going to be... So, so there's, there's a question here. 
Somebody is saying that oh, they expect me to put my black mask on. Yeah, my black mask is somewhere there. I'll bring it out tomorrow by God's grace. Thank you so much. Uh, that is Fanny Shikale. Uh, she said, Doctor, what could the, be the cause of pain on the left side during pregnancy? Is the pre it, 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 it can be ovarian cyst during pregnancy. It can be a pull of the ligament that support the womb. They can cause pain on the left side during pregnancy. Yes. Somebody say that uh, this lady called John Tinder. She too like. I too like you. <laughs> Thank you, sister. I like you too. God bless you. Uh, Seifa John Chinda. A seven more patients. Igwe Crown Rose. Doctor, your welfare, though. <laughs> Thank you, Amarachi Sunshine Ibe. Thank you so much, my sister. I appreciate you. And Crystal Tima, Perpetua, Imagine Fashions, Queen Fisi, Petpolu Allah, uh, Beam Scotchua, Toluwa Rock, Mo Momo Fati. Rose Agbo DK, Inyanga Kotro, The Nick Beauty Zone, Ginger Toti, Peace James, and um, Vena Slick, Kumadi, uh, Kumadare Oloko. God bless you. Circumcise affecting me. <laughs> Thank you guys. I hope to see you soon. Uh, in America, I already answered your question already. Sex is safe in pregnancy, except that uh, if you're uh, placenta is low and it's causing bleeding. We tell you to avoid sex in pregnancy. Otherwise, sex is safe in pregnancy. See you soon. And don't forget to get registered for the IVF seminar coming up end of this month, uh, April. The seminar is going to be a precursor to the opening of the ATG IVF Center. And for people that attend the seminar or that they are part of our premium services, definitely, if they need IVF, they're going to get a discount. So if you are not yet settled into our group, go and do that now and register for the April seminar, okay? And also, if you need tests for your infertility challenges, you can get them done at the ATG laboratories. And if you do any of your hormonal profile tests, or ultrasound scan, or any of your infertility tests at the ATG laboratory, automatically you're a premium services member, and I am obliged to review your results for you with my and I give you my expert opinion. I am obliged. As far as you attend at HD uh, laboratory and do your test there, I am obliged to review your result. In essence, it makes you a member. It makes you a premium services member and you get a discount for our services, for our seminar, and also for IVF if you need it eventually. Thank you guys for watching me today. I really appreciate you. And once again, I want to say my name is Dr. Abaji Talala Day of Ask the Gynecologist by the grace of God. See you soon and have a wonderful weekend in advance. God bless you. Bye bye.